Simon, it's been a difficult few weeks for the club. We've seen a temporary change of head coach. How has it been here at the training ground this week? Yeah, I mean, obviously it's been, it was like a, yeah, a different situation to come in uh, on Monday uh, with a new head coach uh, now. Uh, so, yeah, obviously we have to like, to talk about some different things and, and like, Okay, now we now we start from scratch and, and look forward. Try to like talk with a new uh, coach about how we want to do things and, and stuff like that. But I mean, obviously we should we should use some days to to like put put the the last game and last two games behind us. And I think we've done that now. And the new head coach came in with a, with a lot of positive uh, energy, a lot of smiles. He, he told us that how if we if we have to turn this thing around. Uh, we need some some positive players, some some smiling players, uh, and and if we're doing that, and if we if we want to fight for each other and, and 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 stuff like that, we can turn it around uh, already on on Saturday. Mm. We're told that, as you mentioned, there was a, a really positive impact of his first meeting with the players, and he's, that was the main message. Was it just keep smiling, go out there, enjoy your football, and let's bring the, the smiles yeah, I mean, back to the, was, the players and the supporters. Yeah, it was one of the first things he said that he wanted to 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 see our smiles back because that's the way he thinks that. Football players can can perform if they're happy and if they want to, if they're enjoying themselves and enjoying the the football play. Uh, so that was one of the main things. Uh, obviously, he also came with his ideas and his team's idea about uh, how to play and stuff like that. And and I, I think that's some very positive things as well. And and I think personally that that's the right thing to to do uh, in this situation we're in. Mm. You've had your own injury problems, I mean the whole squad has had their injury problems over the last few weeks but you in particular have been a big part of that. Uh, it must be a, a big relief for you to, to be involved again, you know, going into these next few games and indeed you've, you've played, managed to get an hour or so out of the last couple. Yeah, definitely. It's been it's been one positive thing that, that my injury has been, been good the last couple of weeks and I've been training fully and uh, got more and more game time the last two games so so hopefully I'm ready for, for 90 minutes from now on and, and gonna keep it that way the rest of the season hopefully. Uh, so yeah of course it's been positive for me coming back but it's been very frustrating not like coming in and showing showing what you what you're best at. So and it's been like yeah it's been a tough situation. Yeah your first appearance back was that Preston game uh, Tuesday just gone. Uh, we saw your reaction after the after the game. You were the last one on the pitch. Went down the tunnel. You got a good reaction from supporters like that. But I think it shows really there's real no lack of passion in this team, is there? Yeah, I mean, I was truly disappointed about after that game because yeah, from what I saw from the bench uh, was was like was not good. Everything, every everybody could see that. And when I came in, I tried to change it and bring in some some energy and stuff like that. But I mean, when I came in, they just scored for three zero, and obviously the game was finished. So yeah, for me personally, it was I was just I was just truly disappointed about how how the how the performance was, and also how the how the result went out. Because when when I see in training and when I watch the uh, all of the guys, I, I know that we have so much quality in the team, and and. Obviously, if you're in a bad period and you're not playing very well, uh, at least you can fight for it and you can like show some passion and stuff like that. And I think we we've we've missed that the last couple of games. Now against Brentford, the the first 20 minutes were actually good and we were there again uh, with the with the passion. But then, then it, I mean, after a goal, we just went down again. So that's some of the things I was I was very disappointed about, uh, especially after the Preston game. Mm. Okay, now next up we go to Middlesbrough on Saturday. We know what a good side they are, one of the, the better sides in this division. Um, we're now nine games without a victory. So, I mean, how do we, as a team, approach this game on Saturday? I mean, first of all, uh, like like the coach said as well, uh, this is like a free game for us. Uh, we can go there. We can just give everything. Not no one's gonna like, no one's gonna judge us for anything because it's, it's, everybody knows it's, it's a it's a good side and, and very good at home. So. I think it's a very good opportunity for us just to come there and, and show all of our energy and, and especially all the positive energy we're bringing in from this week. Uh, just go there and, and give everything and, and I, I think it could be a very good like turnaround for us uh, this game.
Okay, finally, do you have any message for the supporters, particularly those that are making the long journey up on Saturday? They've not seen us win in nine games. It's a very difficult time for everyone at the club, but do you have a message for them? I, I can only say that keep supporting and keep keep coming because, I mean, I've been in a situation like this uh, before in my, in my former clubs. Uh, and I mean, it just helps so much when when you when you're in a in a in a bad period and when you're in, in like down everybody knows that, that this is not a good period so if if you if you if you can feel that the support is still there and, and people believe in you and and they just want to like they also want to want the best thing to happen as well so i mean it just helps so much uh for us players in there knowing that okay everybody knows we're not playing very well the last couple of weeks but but you still have our support in you and we still believe in you because we believe in ourselves and we know that we have a we have a good side and we have very good quality in the team so we know it's going to turn and, and and we think it's going to going to be this game uh, so that's all i can say i think